Well, well, well. Blizzard's new anti-harassment changes. Man, I am sure. 100%. These are good, honest changes that the company has made with no intention of preserving their bottom line or, uh, you know, uh, protecting a group of people who don't fucking need it or, uh, or anything like that. This is 100% inclusive. This is this is uh there it's for good is it's for good reasons and uh you know I'm sure that this is this is some important real life or anti harassment issues that Blizzard has decided to make up on their own and uh and it's gonna be a hundred percent everybody's gonna agree with these changes. Blizzard far too often recently. Far too often we've heard about this you're right. Group of individuals at this company. 15 fucking videos. Well, guess what? Blizzard is committed to dealing with abuse and harassment. Awesome. We thought it wasn't true. Yep. We thought that, you know, fucking cap. They just let their employees get sexually harassed. They treat their employees like shit. Well, guess what, guys? They do. That's not the case anymore. Oh. Blizzard really? does care about that stuff. Awesome. What do they do? And they care about it so much. They're removing slash spit from the Burning Crusade client. Uh oh. Whenever targeting another player. Uh oh. That's right. There, there, there's more though. Yeah. There's the, that's uh, that's like the that's like the like the like the, the, like, the, like, the, like the lower margin. We've got more important, bigger anti-harassment changes, right? Things that affect people and and change environments. That's right. Uh, no? Blizzard does care about harassment. Uh, they do care about these things, and that's why they changed it. And here's here's what I think is kind of funny about this. Well, there's a lot of things that I think are funny about this, but out of all the problems that they have identified, that's it. Fuck. Identified with uh, you know their company. Out of all the problems that I've identified with this thing, the one group of people that they really go out of their way to protect first, even after they couldn't even figure out how to get all the, the Alex Afrasabi uh, fucking characters out of the game. They couldn't even figure that out. But the one thing they could do is get rid of Slash Spit. And here's the way Why? I look at it, right? Is that guess which decision gets. Your job is to make video games so you can't figure out how to remove characters that people aren't even really asking for you to remove. They're important to remove, like whatever, fine, do it do it if you feel like it, but you can't figure it out? You made the game. You made the game. <sighs> Slash spit is just for people who have store mounts and people who are on the other side of the faction who are killing you. That's really all that it's ever used for. I don't I don't fucking understand why this is a thing. Which group of people makes <clears throat> them money? Storm Mount Andes. Storm Mount Andes are the ones that make them the fucking money. Yeah. That's what it is because that's the ones they're protecting. They're protecting the whales. These are these are the whale watchers, man. <laughs> fucking exactly. No, I I really mean it. Like that's this is the up. one group of people. They don't protect their female employees. They don't protect their customer service people. They don't protect women that play the game that get constantly stalked by weirdos in the game. They don't really cooperate with the authorities unless like explicit threats are made in terms of stalking, etc. They don't do any of these things. And you know why? Because these things don't make them any fucking money. But the moment, the moment that you sit there and you fuck with their money. You fuck with the opportunity that they have to milk their fucking dying player. Then you fucked up. Player base out of just a few more little fucking cents. Suddenly, they're changing the game in order for you not to spit on people as if that's fucking any different. Swiper, no swiping. Yes, that's what they care about. That's what matters to them. And it's just so fucking sad, isn't it? It, it's just, are they going to get rid of the other ones? No, because obviously they're doing it as a response to people spitting on players for the storm mount, okay? This is one change they're doing that makes them money. Uh, it's pathetic, in my opinion, because the reality is, like, I actually, the way I look at it is that I never thought the spitting thing was bad. I, I genuinely don't think that it's bad. I think that people that complained about it were pussies. The yeah. reality is there's a lot of people out there well, it's just gonna be another thing. It's gonna be slash fart. It's gonna be turning away from them. Like it's just you're gonna. Uh, <clears throat> hey, asshole. 
I guess that's against the rules. Hey, screw you. Buying store mounts hurts the game. Like, it, it, I don't know, dude. You're not even protecting anybody. You're just pissing people off at that point. That don't want to have micro. Like, you're taking this serious thing that needs to be addressed and you're using it for your own narrative and then justifying it. That's so scummy. For transactions in their old fucking game. Like, this is supposed to be like a fucking old game that's supposed to be one thing, and everybody knows what it is yeah. because they played it back then. Like, yeah. if you act like spitting on somebody is like harassment, why is it okay to harass somebody in Burning Crusade? Or why is it? No, why can you not harass people in Burning Crusade, but you can in Retail WoW? So, so you can't harass people in Burning Crusade exclusively? So if it's harassment... Wait, can I not slash spit in retail? I didn't know that. It, it, they should remove it entirely. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's it's stupid. Wonder why there isn't a storm mount already? Oh, I'm sure there will be. Here's what I think Blizzard will do. This is how they can redeem themselves, in my opinion. Is that what I think would be really funny, and I made a tweet about this, is if Blizzard sold the ability to spit on players in Burning Crusade <laughs> back to the players as a microtransaction yes, for the same price as the store mount. If they sold Absolutely. it right back to them, to where like, if you want to spit on players, you have to spend the fucking money as well. That, in my opinion- <laughs> That's Star Wars The Old Republic. <laughs> like, that is so just bald. That is just so shameless. That if they did that, I would commend them. I would be proud. I would be like, yes, this is fucking, this is a big dick move, okay? It is a bald fucking, it is, it is, it 100% is. Uh, what's this here? You can't type the N-word in retail, but you can in classic. Well, you can't take their only word away from them, right? I mean, if you take the N-word away from classic players, what else do they have? What, like doxing? Like, that's about it. I mean, DDoSing? I mean, it's not a whole lot that they've got left, okay? So yeah, listen, classic it's players- uh, you know, they've, they've had the walls closing in on them for a while, and I'm really glad to see Blizzard holding the line with not blacklisting the N-word, okay? It's just, you know, really good to see that they really care about these kinds of things. Fuck, and uh, back then, you were able to blacklist words too, by the way. It's still the same thing. And so, yeah, uh, anyway, N-word is an offensive, but yes, uh, they removed the... <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> They removed slash bit, but they didn't remove the N word. Yep, that's what fucking happened. <laughs> I, I that's mean, like, what, what is happened. this? What is this? This is. <laughs> I mean, it's it's about money. <laughs> this is this is the these are the things that they care about. Yeah. How, how much should they charge for them to remove the blacklist on the N word too? Like, this is the way these people- it's a clown world. Yeah, it's gotta be a clown world. Like, I don't know what it's else so to say. Fuck, dude. You know what? I've thought about this, right? Defend the people who purchased their collector's position and boost, but yeah, they're not gonna defend uh, people that are using the, the racial slurs, right? It, it's cr Well, uh, here's the thing. They're not even fucking def they're not even defending the people that they're- the we're, Like, it, it's not even an offense at this point. I know we're, we're saying that they're, they're, not, they're not defending these people, right? They're just removing somebody else's ability to attack. That's to two totally different things. Like, like somebody defending somebody's like, oh no, they, they're, they're allowed to have store mounts and we support this decision. And we don't think that you should harass them or, or whatever. And then giving the players who bought the store mounts some sort of way to like not be whatever. But what you're doing is you're you're removing somebody else's ability to impact that person. So you're not defending the storm out person. You're attacking the average player. Crazy to me. And it just, the thing is to me, it's like if they have a laissez-faire approach to it, and this is the way that Blizzard has always had. So this is the problem whenever you begin doing the excessive moderation. And, and this is always the issue that it, that it oh, runs damn, that into. Is that whenever you have a laissez-faire, which is like, anybody doesn't know what that means. It's basically like, fucking do whatever you want, uh, unless it's like super, 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 super bad, right? So like posting people's personal addresses, uh, telling people you're going to kill them. Yeah. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, everything else is like, you know, just say whatever you want, do whatever you want. Uh, just don't fuck, don't, don't be crazy, don't break the law, basically. Yep. So this is the approach that Blizzard used to have. It, it was. 
<laughs> and they would ban you if they reported you, if some people reported you, but it was usually like a slap on the wrist. It was like 24 hours, and, and that was about it. And um, I, over time, Blizzard has tried to moderate this more. They have tried to invest more and try to like over moderate. And, and what they run into is these exact problems issues, where dude. you are banning one control. thing like this, but not something else. Uh, it, it's absolutely fucking crazy to me. Uh, it, it's nuts. Uh, someone at Blizzard is for sure fucking with us at this point. Um, I think that. In my opinion, like, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I don't care what happens in Burning Crusade. In my opinion, no. the second that they added a storm out and a boost to Burning Crusade, it was a uh, joke. the game was dead to me. It was a joke. That's the truth. It was dead to me. Like, I, I, like, this is not the game I played back whenever I was a kid. This is not what it was. This is... It's a game built on nostalgia that you're paying for to, to go back to that time and place. Great face. Um... And it doesn't have the nostalgia anymore. You're paying for nostalgia and not getting nostalgia. It's just some bullshit that you've tried to make money out of. And I, I played the game. I love Burning <clears throat> Crusade. I'll even play it nowadays, right? I'll, I'll play Tier 5. I'll play Tier 6. I'll play Sunwell. And, and I'll even look forward to it, to be honest. I will. But the reality is that it's not the same experience. And no. it's not the same thing that it used to be. And... It's very obvious to me that it's a cash grab. They're just yeah. incompetent yeah, and greedy. Absolutely. Oh, I, I don't think they're malicious either. I don't think that they want people to say the N-word, okay? Like, I don't think that they're like, wow, well, now that they... <laughs> now we'll have everybody saying the N-word in our game. No, that's not what it is, okay? It's, it's clearly not what it is. However... Uh, I do think that they are incompetent and, and at a certain point incompetence and maliciousness is the same thing And I feel like that's about where we're at. What a yeah, devious little okay. plan. That's yes, what I was about to say like, like Of course, I don't want people going around saying the n-word, but at this point, it's like <sighs> Malicious in the fact that they're trying to control people's behavior to the extent of you can't spit on somebody uh, there's an agenda there where they, they are trying to 100% control behavior to a point of which, uh, you know, like, even, even by a normal person's standards, that's something that's rude, but it's not something that's, like, cancel culture worthy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, slash spit used to be a common thing, like a common disdain for a person when you didn't want to call them a bad name. Exactly. And uh, it's just fucking crazy, man. Yeah, they, they're just completely incompetent. Blizzard, the original clown college. I mean, honest. Bobby uses the N word. Bobby loves the N word. God damn. Honestly, I feel like these guys are in clown graduate school at this point. It's pretty <coughs> fucking impressive. No, anyway, I want to look at some other stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that for a few minutes. Uh, basically, Blizzard removes the spitty mode in Burning Crusade. Obviously, toxicity is solved. So There's not like you can't use slash cringe. You can't just keep kicking people out of groups with the store mounts, etc. And, and so to me, here's the way I look at it. Is that each individual player that buys one of those things, that buys that mount, is actively saying, I don't care about the authentic classic experience. By riding that mount in the game, you say, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me, and it's irrelevant. And you are actively working against the interests of every other person on that server that's there to have an authentic classic experience. Okay, but at the same point, devil's ad ad advocate here. I don't like the mount either, just because I feel like uh, it's gonna be, it lessens my experience when I get, whenever I get my nether wing. But like, it's not the fucking player's fault. You're, you're asking Classic Andes not to be toxic here. You're asking Classic Andes to give a fuck about each other's experience when fucking AQ Wardies, uh, AQ40 Wars were going on? Classic Andes don't give a flying fuck about the integrity of the game or each other's experience. It is the job of the developer to gatekeep these issues. Not the players. It's the developer who sold the fucking mount. It's the developer who's supposed to be protecting the integrity of the game. And you know what? When you're asking players to police themselves in classic WoW, you're the fucking clown. Experience. 
And if you think that I'm going to turn my nose up and act like I'm too good to spit on somebody who's actively doing that, you're wrong. You're, you're wrong. I, I'm, I'm a bit of an asshole. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but I am. And I have no problem doing that. I'd, I've never, never heard of anybody calling him an asshole, ever. Not, not even once. I have no problem doing that kind of stuff. And the player base, the thing is, this is the reality, is that that actually makes change. And you know how I know it makes change? Because Blizzard is removing the emote. It was working. Obviously it was working or they wouldn't have removed it. It clearly had an effect and people were clearly upset about it. And because they were upset about it, it was clearly serving its purpose. I don't know. I, I don't know about that. I'll be honest with you, man. I feel like I feel like this is just another thing that they can do to virtue signal about the harassment issues. I really do. I feel like I feel like the, the fucking slash spit didn't do a goddamn thing except for make you feel better because the person who bought the storm out didn't give a fuck what you thought or what you were doing. They didn't care. They didn't give a two shits about what you were thinking. But it is another thing that Blizzard can say. We're doing this. This is another thing that we've done to improve our anti-harassment in game. And, and this is, you know, the effect that we have on it. I think that that's the approach they're going for. I don't think they give two shits about player interactions in their own game. If they did, they would play the game, and they don't. So, unfortunately, some people were mad, and, uh, you know, it, it's unfortunate, but fuck them. They're pussies. A lot of these people sure. just want to they want to defend this kind of bullshit like this so they can get brownie points for Blizzard. But nowadays, nobody's talking about that anymore because the company's going down in flames. Yeah. You boosted as well, my dude? Yeah, and I deleted the fucking character, right? Like, I, I hate to tell you guys this, but... <laughs> Do I want to break the fourth wall? Guys. <sighs> Would The Last Jedi have been a good Star Wars movie if The Empire Strikes Back didn't happen. You have to have the bad moments and you have to create a narrative. I knew that whenever I was making a character, I was gonna delete it. That's why I never geared it out or leveled it. I did it because I thought it would be funny. It was I funny. I planned it a month it in advance. It was funny. That's why I never did anything with the character. I knew that we were going to do the charity event. I planned it out all the way until then. It is what it is. I, uh, it's not necessarily like I knew that it was going to happen. It's more that Scare. I was expecting something to happen and I was pretty much creating a situation to where it, it would work out in the future. Listen. We got scammed boys. It is what it is. We got scammed for the kids. The scripted content L guys look I, I what can i say i'm a showman i love to put on a show Scammer. and guess what people love the show so who gives a fuck trust is gone exactly <laughs> everything's fake nothing's real this behind <laughs> you is a set okay there's a giant fucking mansion right behind this house and that's where i actually live and the fucking well it depends on which lamborghini you're talking about somebody in the fucking chat said stop the counts <laughs> but the yellow one is parked in front of the fucking uh the garage with the uh the fountain in the middle of it okay that it's being taken care of by my butlers yeah, I mean, you guys know what's going on. It's, it's it was all it was all fake right from the beginning, guys. That was a fun video. I liked it. I always like his stuff.